Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this one here is going to be a quick one. And entitlement, <clears throat> excuse me, entitlement, eat them, you can't make it. All right. You know, slash, the Lord is only going to deliver the elect. You know, this word is only, only for the children of Israel. All right. And when you really get down into it, you realize that it's only given to the Lord's elect. So I want to read a few precepts that I, I had jotted down just to make a point. You know, and let me say this. If you are an Israelite, okay, this word is for you. If you're an Edomite from the seed of your father, not your mother, but your father, then this word ain't for you. This word is going to condemn you. Okay? It's going to sentence you. Sentence you to the judgment that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has set up, uh, set up. Now, there's confusion of faces and what we like to call speckled birds. Okay? You have Israelites who may look like the other nations. They may look like an Edomite. They may look like an African or an Arab. But guess what? If their spirit goes back to being an Israelite, then they're Israelites. All right, this is not a, a black and white thing. It's a Jacob and Esau thing, but it's not a color thing, even though color is an indicator, okay? And it is important because that is an indicator of knowing who you are, all right? Since Esau set up this color thing, you know, by whitewashing our pictures during the Renaissance period, you know, when they sacked us, you know, Basically, when they took out uh, paintings and painted their likings of their faces, they painted their faces to be the angels, to be the Most High, to be the Lord, the Savior, Yahweh Shai. You know, so they made it a color thing. But we're not screaming color. We're screaming truth. All right? Truth and spirit and power through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So this is Psalm 78 and 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known unto their children. So he established a testimony, which testimony also means witness, and Jacob, okay, Jacob was the birth of the nation of Israel. A Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which in the Hebrew is Yasha Allah, which Jacob's sons became that nation. Those 12 tribes became one nation. So he established a testimony in Jacob, a witness in us, okay, who are the so-called, um, well, excuse me, who are the Israelites today of the 12 tribes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, all right, West Indians, so-called Haitians, Hispanics, and Native Seminole Indians, all right, just look at the 12 tribe chart, and from the seed of your father, if your line goes back to these, to these, to these tribes of the Israelites, then you're an Israelite, it says, and appointed a law in Israel, all right, the law, statutes, commandments that was given to Moses to give to who? The children of Israel on Mount Sinai. It says, which he commanded our fathers, okay, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that they should make them known to their children. So we're making known, okay, to the Lord's people, the Lord's chosen people, which are the Israelites, of who they truly are. And as long as you Edomites keep calling yourselves the Jews, which really go back to the Amalekites, then there's no uh, erasing of the true living people. You know, this psychology that's going on through the minds and the doctrines, you gotta, you know, if you have the elect, you're gonna get it, man. You're gonna get it. And if you're not of the elect, you're not going to get it. Now let's move on. Uh, Psalms 147. So let's go there. And it's pretty dark where I'm at, so I'm going to try to make it fast. Okay, Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so the Lord hath said he hath showed his word. What is his word? All right, the gospel, the law, statutes, and commandments, the prophecies. He have showed his word unto Jacob 
and his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So we know that's why Paul said, you know, those who have woken up to this truth who have the Lord's hope for elect. You know, as Paul said, we know the terror of the Lord, so we persuade men. We know the terror of the Lord, so we persuade men. All right? Because the Lord only showed his judgments unto us. We know the terror of the Lord. We know what the Lord is capable of doing. So we persuade men to follow the Lord, following righteousness and good deeds. If you're an Israelite from the seed of your father, you know, I got to be so technical because... You know, there's new, newly fruit out there that need to know, but then you got demons that like to play on words. It says, he have not dealt so with any nation. So where in the scriptures have he dealt with Edom? Where in the scriptures have he dealt with Ham? Where in the scriptures have he dealt with Ishmael and so on? It says here, he have not dealt so with any nation. Okay, even Paul in the New Testament tells you that the adoption and covenant goes to who? Israelites who Paul went to being a light to the Gentiles which the Gentiles he was speaking of was the Israelite foreigners okay Israelites who took on customs in the ways of heathens so he have not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments they have not known them praise ye Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all right so praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all right even Edom why is Edom today you know he's no he's not so wise anymore because he don't realize the George's the Lord Lord's judgment that's coming upon him. Excuse me. All right, so let's go to Paul. Now let's go to Romans nine and verse one. It says, "I say the truth in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit. Okay, that I have great heaviness and continued sorrow in my heart." For I could wish that myself was a, were a curse from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, for my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So who is Paul talking about? He's talking about Israelites according to the flesh, his kinsmen, his relatives, man. All right. As a nation of people, his race. It says, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the most high and the promises you can't get around this okay and if you don't believe in this truth and this gospel being taught today then that's because the god of this world have blinded you as the scriptures say he have blinded the minds of them all right who are basically lovers of this world and of course you edomites are not gonna agree to this because it's judgment, it's judgment on you. So who who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises? Alright. I just want to read it right there. I'm gonna try to move on. Uh Acts. Let's go to Acts real quick. Acts 13. And uh verse 23 it says of this man's seed have Yahweh according to his promise raised unto Israel a savior Yahweh Shai all right of this man's seed have Yahweh according to his promise not our promise we're not out here uh let, let me say this this is to uh Vlad and uh Godfrey you know this is not us out here speaking of ourselves in a reflection and deflecting what Esau has put out for what he put, you know. Basically, we're not out here just because Esau said that he's the Jews, all right? And he's the people of the Most High. We're out here in the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So of this man's seed have Yahweh according to his purpose raised unto Israel a savior, Yahweh Shai. So we do have hope. We have a savior. That's Yahweh Shai. And no other man, no other uh, creature, okay, principality can save us except for Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay? Let me go to John 10 and 25. All right, and I might wrap it up with this one because it's getting super dark. 
Uh, let's go to John 10 and 25. Because the Lord is dealing with his elect. It says, Yahweh Shai answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. All right? It says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I gave unto them eternal life. How are we going to have eternal life? If Yahweh Shai, you know, gave his spirit back up to go to the Father, laid his life down for the for the elect, okay? And then here it is, the men that walk with Yahweh Shai, the disciples and, and the other men and like-minded, all right, servants, they died also. We're going to have eternal life through what? Reincarnation, okay? So, and I gave unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. You hear that, man? So the elect is the Lord's first fruits. That is the chosen. And no man, not even Esau, can pluck them out of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's hand. Because they was given to Yahweh Shai. And they ain't going nowhere. All right, they're going to be here until they get delivered. The Most High is going to have safety and refuge for these men. He's going to cover them with his Holy Spirit. He's going to give them a word that no man could gainsay against. And that's this truth that here, uh, I got to say here uh, 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 in Great Millstone, start with our elders, apostles, you know, we got the truth, man. You know, that's the truth. These scriptures don't lie, man. Men lie, but, but the Lord doesn't lie. Let me go to John. Let's go to what, another one. John 6. And, uh, excuse me. Uh, okay, 6 and uh, 35. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. All right? Never hunger and thirst. Okay? But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not all that the father given me shall come to me and him that come to me i will not i will in no wise cast out for i came down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him that sent me all right check that out man just like us brothers who are out faithfully pushing this truth we don't come out here to do our own will, man. We didn't come out here to uh, confess or profess and protest what we like or what we did, what we don't like. We come out in the name of the Lord. We understand the Lord gave us the the eyesight, the insight to know what is righteous and know what is, what is wrong. So let me continue. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of Him that sent me. And this is the Father. Which, which have sent me that of all which he have given me I should lose nothing but should raise it up again at the last day this is the last day and he's raising his men up today verse 40 and this is the will of him that sent me that everyone which seeth the son and believeth on me may have everlasting life and will raise him up at the last day so check that out, man. All right. And I'll read one more. And I'll call it a show. John 17. And I got more precepts. I just want to get up out of here from where I'm at. This is uh, John 17 and 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. So you see... How in these three precepts going in John, how the Lord have given Yahweh Shai these men. And these men are not going anywhere. Yahweh Shai even said that he would not cast them out. All right, he will raise them up in these last days. It says, I pray for them. The Lord even pray for his elect. I pray not for the world. Who is the world? The world of Israel. All right, the rest of you Israelites. Okay, the two-thirds, uh, that's, that's numbered to the sword. 
It says, but for them which thou has given me. So the Lord Yahweh Shai pray for that, that um, what's the word? Um Kainos. I believe that's right. A uh, world within the world. Okay? Just like you got the fish world, that's a world within the world. You got the animal world, that's a world within the world. You got Israel, okay, which is a world within the world. Alright? I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, meaning they are his. And all mine are mine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. So you see that Yahweh Shai is being glorified in the Lord's whole for elect. Okay, starting with his prophets on the highways and hedges, teaching, man, prophesizing, doing epistles and shows throughout the week on these, on these, uh, the unicorn, man, on the internet of things, man. It says, um, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, see? And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep thou, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. So we're about to become one as Yahweh Shai and Yahweh is, meaning one accord, not uh, not one entity, okay? We're gonna be on one accord with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Who uh, Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. Ooh. All right? So that's why it's important to know the name of the Lord because that identifies who the Lord's people are. And the true elect is going to praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's name. Okay? Matter of fact, I believe that's a scripture in the Apocrypha. I might leave in the post production. All right, where it says, The elect shall praise his holy name. So those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost. So even though we were lost in this time, uh, growing back up into this world in our flesh, all right. Having a Gentile frame of mind, the Most High woke him up. He woke us up, okay? Which I hope to be a part of that number, you know? That flock, that election. He woke these men up, and now they're in their life. It says, the son of perdition. Who's the son of perdition? That's Esau. It says that the scriptures might be fulfilled. So that's why Esau got to play his role in being an evil villain, okay? This is why he's coming down, having great wrath soon, because... You know why? He knows that he had but a short time. He's the son of perdition. All right. So hopefully I hope this lesson was edifying. I did have some more precepts here, a few lined up, but I hope this was uh, hit the point and make make the lesson. Uh, again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.